Did you tame the rowdy waters, Captain? Captain does have some. Our Laksamana is fierce, but good at You would do well to remember we both fight against tyranny and oppression at war. I know exactly what I'm fighting for. My war against the DMC cannot be compromised. The signs are clear. Lightning falls and storm clouds gather. From the Middle Kingdom, the Heavenly Empress stirs from his throne. His gaze has already reached the Indian Ocean. Your squabbles with the DMC will mean little if we perish in his flames. We must strike first. Careful, Tian Ning. You attempt the bite of the dragon when our heads are still in its jaw. I will consider your offer of an alliance. I have other business to attend to. Once you come to your senses, you know where to find me. Be wary, lest she sends you into the jaws of death. The gall of that woman, Li Tian Ning, the so-called Sky Goddess, schemes against the Emperor of China and his Dragon's Claw. The same Emperor she swore to serve. The same Dragon's Claw who has helped my rebellion to flourish. But a fool chasing power can still set the world on fire. If Tian Ning wishes an alliance, we will need to measure her strength. Investigate her area of operations. You're the perfect agent to do so. Someone she will not be expecting. We cannot incur the wrath of the Emperor. But perhaps we can still benefit from this brewing conflict. Sky Goddess? Ch Chalaka. The Emperor will not allow his power to be challenged. And with Li Tian Ning stirring the flames of rebellion, we will need to insulate ourselves from his coming wrath. Find out her plans for the region. Bring back proof of her strength. Or lack thereof. Once the Emperor's envoy to the Indian Ocean, she was forced to return to China when the chaos proved too disruptive. Some say she had a run-in with pirates during her time here. I wouldn't be surprised, given how brazen and brash she has become. To challenge the Emperor? Madness. Zhang and his forces believe his imperial majesty to be the divine son of the heavenly emperor. They are fully devoted to their duty, enforcing his will through flames and cannon fire. We must be careful with how we play our hand in this war, lest we lose our heads. Three months in luck. That was Li Tian Ning. I haven't seen her since... Heard she went back to China, but I didn't know she was part of the Dragon's Claw. Let's be wary, Captain. Whatever she has planned for the region, I bet it's not good. PlayStation.